ABC Kinder Teach presents Safe, Warm, and Snug, written by Stephen R. Swinburne, illustrated by Jose Aruego and Arian Dewey. Fish fry swimming tight and a fish fry are just baby fish and when they say swimming tight they mean swimming close together watch out catfish bite mama cichlid opens wide and there's the mama cichlid and that's what one really looks like so the mama opens wide why is she opening wide hmm Cichlid. Most fish lay their eggs in the water and then leave them, providing no parental care, which means they don't take care of them at all. Small freshwater fish called cichlids release their eggs into the water, then carry them in their mouths until they develop into baby fish. Oh, so the mama's opening its mouth so that the fish can swim in? The mother guards her brood, or bunch of fish, until the fry, or little fish, can survive alone. At the first sign of danger, she signals the young to re-enter her mouth where they will be safe. Cichlids are found in many tropical countries, countries that are warm and rain quite a bit, throughout the world. Baby fish are safe inside. That's what it said, right? So all the baby fish are in there. It's like, <laughs> I have my baby fish in here and this big catfish is not going to bother me. When hungry dingoes stalk, which means look for and hunt. And a dingo looks like a dog. And they're just really wild dogs. Joey hides in the pouch up front. Kangaroo pouch is dark and deep. Joey peeks while mama leaps. A kangaroo. A newborn kangaroo called a Joey is about the size of a honeybee, so really small. Soon after it is born, the Joey climbs through the mother's fur and into her stomach pouch where it nurses and grows bigger. Even when a joy is large enough to run, it climbs back into the pouch when there is danger nearby. In the pouch, the joy is protected from hunting dingoes and other predators, people that are after the kangaroos. Kangaroos live in Australia and New Guinea, Tasmania, and the Bismarck Islands. Crawling cockroach carries her sack right there. A precious purse, hard and black, on stormy days under rainy sky. Her 30 eggs stay warm and dry. And this is what a cockroach looks like. Most people don't like them. Cockroach. Cockroaches are active which means they do a lot fast running insects that eat almost anything from beans to books the female cockroach lays her eggs in a leathery capsule or purse which she carries at the end of her body when the eggs are ready to hatch she deposits the case called an oatheca in a safe place Cockroaches exist throughout the world, but are most common in tropical climates, warm and rainy. Four eggs, black and brown, in a killdeer nest on open ground. The killdeer drags her wings on rocks. So there are the baby killdeer and their eggs. 
and there's the mother, and she is pretending like her wing is hurt. Oh, I wonder why. And this is what a kill deer really looks like. Again, it's just a bird. It's not a deer. It's just a bird that they call a kill deer. Kill deer. Kill deer are common shorebirds that live near the water. They build their nests out in the open, along riverbanks, in fields, or on lawns. If an animal or person gets too close to its nest, a kill deer performs what is called the broken wing display. Pretending to be hurt, it drags its wing or limps and calls wildly while slowly leading the predator, the person hunting it, away from the nest. Killdeer are found throughout most of North and South America. And so the killdeer pretends like it's hurt so that the fox or somebody that's hunting it does not pay attention to the eggs but follows this killdeer and then when it gets away, it flies away, and then the fox has nothing. And with this trick, she fools the fox. And so she took her off after she led the fox away from her babies. Baby sloth hangs on her back. And that's what a sloth looks like. Look at the claws on it. As mother walks slow and slack, which means not very stiffly. Baby clings with long curved toes while prowling jaguar, that's a jaguar that is hunting for food, comes and goes. So they hang from the tree so that the jaguar does not get them. Sloth. Sloths are very slow-moving mammals that spend much of their lives upside down, hanging from tree limbs and eating leaves. A mother sloth cradles her baby or carries it on her back for six to nine months. In its mother's arms, a young sloth is protected from eagles and from falling to predators on the forest floor, the ground. Sloths live in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. Emperor's egg sits on Papa's feet, kept warm and snug in snow or sleet. And so an emperor penguin looks like this. And sleet is just freezing rain. Papa's belly, plump and white, covers his egg day and night. Emperor Penguin. Winter temperatures in Antarctica sometimes drop as low as minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it's very, very, very cold. As soon as the female penguin lays her single egg, the male rolls it onto his feet and covers it with a warm fold of belly skin, protecting it from the icy environment. So the father takes care of the egg and keeps it warm by kind of letting it be, sit between his feet and his belly. The female sets off to the open sea to feed. The father penguin remains in one place, incubating or keeping warm the egg for two months and living off energy from stored fat until his mate or his wife returns. Emperor penguins are found only in Antarctica. So for two months, he just stands here keeping the egg warm and doesn't get to go and eat it. He just has to live off his fat. Suriname toads have holy backs, which means there's holes in them, where eggs are hidden from all attacks. The eggs become tadpoles where they stay. And a Suriname toad looks like this. And they have little 
indentations or holes on their back, and that's where the eggs are at. Suriname toad. After the female Suriname toad lays her eggs, the male toad presses them into pits on her back. Each egg develops into a tadpole in its soft cup of skin. The tadpoles grow into small toads, and when they are ready, they break through the lid of skin that covers them and hop away. Suriname toads are found in Trinidad and the South American countries of Suriname, the Guianas, Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru. And when they're toads, they hop away. So when they're big enough, they just hop off and hop away. Coiled python, still as stone, warms her eggs white as bone. So there's the python and there's the python eggs. And a real python might look like this. African rock python. Most mother snakes leave their eggs as soon as they lay them. Snake eggs are often deposited in scooped out hollows under flat stones. But after laying a clutch of up to 100 eggs in a pyramid one foot high, which means kind of a triangle, the female python coils herself around the pyramid. She stays curled around the eggs for two or more months, leaving only to drink water. During this incubation period, keeping the eggs warm, she contracts her muscles to increase her body temperature, which keeps the eggs safe and warm. The African rock python is the largest snake in Africa and then exists throughout that continent. She guards her stack from storks and cats like jaguars or other animals that are like cats, from lizards, turtles, and whiskered rats. So there are turtles, there are cats, there's whiskered rats, and this is what a stork looks like. Mama Seahorse puts her batch of eggs in Papa's pouch to hatch. So there's the mother, and she puts her eggs into this pouch in the Papa where they will hatch in maybe a little while. And that's what a seahorse looks like. Not really a horse, but looks a little bit like one, maybe. Seahorse. Seahorses move through the water by beating their almost invisible fins. Right there. The female seahorse deposits her eggs, as many as several hundred, in a pouch on the underside of the male. The father broods, or incubates, keeps them warm, the eggs. Females visit their mates every morning for about 20. 21 days until the young are born. When the eggs are ready to hatch, the father squeezes his pouch and several young pop out at a time. Seahorses live in tropical oceans in the southern parts of the world. Papa broods, carries fish eggs in his mouth, a fishy mass, a bunch of fish, safe from crabs and big mouthed bass and that's what a big mouth bass looks like tumble beetle tumble bug in a dung ball her eggs are snug she rolls the ball into a hole to keep away mouse keep away mole and a tumblebug looks like this. And this is what a mole looks like. See, it's missing what you think would be eyes, right? Tumblebug. Tumblebugs, which are also called dung beetles, lay their eggs in balls of dung or like poo or manure. 
When it's time to lay eggs, the male and female tumblebug form a small dung ball. Together they roll the ball to a chosen spot. The female lays her eggs inside the ball where they will be protected from predators. Then the male and female bury the dung ball. When the eggs hatch, the beetle larvae eat their first meal. Dung. Remember, that's poo. Tumblebugs are found throughout the world. Young bat hold on tight. Mama bat soars tonight. Bat. Bats are the only mammals that fly. They venture out or go out at night using their extraordinary or fantastic hearing to navigate, figure out where they're going, and to locate insects to eat. Because many types of bats are born naked and helpless, a baby bat is carried by its mother, clinging to her fur as she flies in search of food. Later, as the young bat grows and becomes more independent, the mother bat leaves her offspring at a roost while she feeds. Bats are found throughout the world except in the Arctic, the Antarctic, and in the highest mountains. So it, where it's really, really cold, they typically aren't found. In this furry hug, fly across the moon, away from owls that zip and zoom. See how they're holding on right there?